Kia's flagship SUV got a serious refresh, making an already stellar ride even more impressive. With slick styling, cutting-edge tech upgrades, and a new off-road trim, the 2025 Telluride is set to dominate for a few more years before its next full redesign. But does that mean the 2025 model year is coming out without any major updates? Not quite. The SUV for the next season is about to introduce a few exciting tweaks. While these updates won't be as game-changing overhaul, further upgrades of the X-Line and X-Pro models will make 2025 Kia Telluride even more competitive. Plus, keep an eye out for fresh color options and more standard features. The core design remains the same, so don't anticipate the launch any sooner than late in the year. The 2025 Kia Telluride rolls in hot after a major refresh, so don't expect notable changes on the body. The latest update hooked us up with fresh styling, a revamped grille, and slick new headlights. For the 2025 model year, only new paint jobs are worth a shout. The X-Line and X-Pro models are getting some juicy upgrades. Additional traction control modes will enhance the ride even further. These trims already boast lifted suspension, standard all-wheel drive, and other off-road goodies. The entire lineup delivers a smooth, comfy ride without completely ditching the sporty vibes. The Telluride's interior is a major flex. This SUV screams luxury from the inside out, thanks to its elegantly designed dashboard, wrapped in high-quality materials and packed with tech features, including the slick digital instrument cluster. The vibe carries through the second and third rows, with top-notch quality and meticulous attention to detail everywhere you look. As a mid-size SUV, the Telluride doesn't skimp on space. The front seats are plush and roomy, and the second row offers similar comfort, easily fitting three adults. Even the third row impresses, providing more space than you'd typically expect from a mid-size SUV. The 2025 Kia Telluride keeps five standard trim levels, all upgradable with cool packages. Even the base LX trim comes with standout features like a large 12.3-inch display and synthetic leather upholstery. The Telluride S steps it up with advanced options, a sunroof and second-row captain's chairs, making it the best-selling setup in the lineup. The EX trim adds some premium touches, but if you're chasing luxury, the SX and SX Prestige trims are where it's at. Dual sunroofs, a Harman Kardon sound system, genuine leather, ventilated second-row seats, and many more features will enhance the ride, putting the Telluride in the premium segment. Kia is preparing another off-road package based on the X-Pro model. While it already lifts the SUV by 0.4 inches, that's not enough for a serious adventure. With standard all-wheel drive, a special suspension setup for enhanced traction, and a power outlet, the new version will sit even higher and will probably see skid plates for extra body protection. Under the hood, things are staying the same. This is a bit disappointing, since some fans expected a hybrid setup. On the other hand, Kia's luckily not turning to a turbo 4 for the big rig. So, we're getting the trusty 3.8-liter V6, cranking out 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. That's more than enough to deliver a smooth and comfortable ride. Plus, the 8-speed automatic transmission pairs perfectly with this engine, offering smooth shifting. Base models rock front-wheel drive, but you can opt for all-wheel drive if you're into that. Fuel economy is acceptable at 23 miles per gallon combined. When it comes to towing, most models can handle up to 5,000 pounds, but the X-Pro trim boosts that capacity to 5,500 pounds. Those mid-size three-row SUVs are becoming more expensive every year. A few seasons ago, you could get the new rig for $30,000. Now, it is hard to find a better offer than Kia's $37,000. Have in mind the extended warranty the company is giving away. Premium versions of the 2025 Kia Telluride will be above $50,000.